Hey guys, Tanner69046 here, and I'm back with another episode of Tornado Survival. Woo, season 7, episode 35, I think. And off camera, I did a lot of streaming, and uh, I got all of our uh, stuff back the way it needs to be. And uh, as you can see, it took a long time, but uh, you know I didn't cheat it in because uh, I did it on the stream. And uh, you can... Uh, you won't be able to tell, but the bow is not to where it needs to be just yet. So uh, we might have to just make a new bow. But in to oh, today's episode, we are going to finish the end farm. Oh, and by the way, um, if you didn't figure it out, what is this lag? Did you see that? The game like lagged with the, uh, the, the throw there. That was weird. But yeah, in today's episode... We are going to finish the end farm, and you say finish? What do you mean finish? Um, <laughs> in order to get my stuff back, I basically had to uh, had to get the ender farm to a working state, which I will tell you was terrible. I died a lot more times. Um, <laughs> my death total in this world is getting up there, that's for sure. Let's just make sure we have enough sand this time around. Um, <laughs> I'm tired of. I ran out of glass the other time when I was trying to get it. So the, it's it's got a shell to it, but holy cow, what what is with my frames? I'm getting like 60. That's terrible. Episode extreme. That'll do it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> but yeah, um, uh, I got it to a working state, but it's a very rough and ugly shell. So it's nothing like it needs to be. So, we'll head on over there and get to working on a nice little design and have everything set on up. Before we head to the end, I want to, not the dirt, <laughs> I want to show you real quick the uh, loot we got. I got two more extra elytra wings and then just in the chest is just a whole lot of extra loot that I got from the, uh, what do you, the, uh, the end cities. I had to go there for this elytra wing, but all these. All, a lot of this is new stuff, and our diamond count is back. Well, actually, it's probably about normal, because I did have to craft stuff for the uh, the new armor and tools and whatnot, because I don't have access to all that. And our emerald count is really taking a hit, because we had to use them to get mending books, and I think I used it for like this axe and maybe this one. Oh, and we need an efficiency for book to throw onto this axe. And then there's a couple good pickaxes here. That one... And maybe it's just that one. This one has Curse of Vanishing. Oh, it's this one. Put them next to each other here. Because these two are really good. They're both Fortune 3. We'll uh, put Mending and Efficiency 5 on them, and then we'll be really good on those picks. So, I don't think I got any others here. And then this one would be good, but we're going to have to uh, combine it with another to get the Curse of Vanishing off of it. And, um, oh yeah, also, I got a bunch more shulker boxes, um, five more and I can complete, oh, I can complete my, uh, portable ender chest, oh, what is, did he just drown in there, where did, no, that was weird, did you hear that, the creeper died for some reason, Anyways, uh, I got my glass in here, and uh, once we grab this, we'll be able to uh, head on over to the end and get started. And of course, um, the uh, we had to bridge back out because uh, our uh, we didn't have elytra. Let's make sure it works in this dimension, because you know, as you can see, I lost my stuff right there last time because it didn't work. And please don't look at that. I looked at him. As long as he doesn't teleport behind me. I hate not having a bridge, but I think it's the best way. At least temporarily. Because we're going to have to uh, build a nice Enderman-proof bridge, if not. Because it'll hurt the spawn rates and whatnot. But yeah, the farm is kind of working right now. Um, it obviously needs some adjustments. But I found that the uh, this version of the game... it messes with the AI mechanics so that like sometimes the Endermen go after the Endermite and then other times they get stuck and just decide to not to and I know that's not 
it, it, it works in 1.12, so I know it has to do something with Forge or Coral Util or maybe one of the mods I'm using. I don't know. I don't know why any of those would mess with the AI, but that's uh, it's happening. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's clearly working, as you can see. And we can stare at them through the glass because they won't get mad. Um, yeah, I ran out of glass, so I had to put andesite there. But this is, this is what it looks like right now. Let's just, uh, close that off, I guess. And, uh, we'll, uh, we'll start to get some design work down here. Hmm, so I'm running into a dilemma already. Um, we need to build this place out of half slabs so the Endermen don't spawn here or teleport. And uh, you can't make half slabs out of blue concrete, which is one of the important blocks that we're using. So I'm not really sure what I want to do about that. Um, one thing I do know is you can make the half slab out of quartz, which I definitely want to do. <laughs> so um, I'm going to have to look into that, but I'm not sure at the moment what I'm wanting to do there. I do know that I wanted to kind of just uh, have a main walkway here and then it kind of branch off that way and then branch off that way. And I would like to add, oh, <laughs> sorry, buddy. <laughs> I'd like to add a storage system down below underneath this thing. So I'm going to work on that. Just give you all an idea where I'm trying to head from here. But uh, it's difficult to build in the end. All right, giving you guys a little uh, update here. Ignore that. That's just light for now. Um, this is the general layout. I'm not sure if I like it yet, but I, yeah, I want to have like little rooms here by this hallway. Like enchant there, and then your anvil and uh, all your fun stuff here <laughs> with your excess ender pearls. <laughs> Um, and then here would be like a giant storage room just full of vendor pearls probably and I would like to do a collection system underneath these guys for the ender pearls so we'll see about that but I think I'm gonna have to fly up there and shut off the farm if we're gonna do that and, th and then you can see how they get stuck like that like why isn't that guy coming down it doesn't make sense <laughs> uh, let's step away from the enderman they get super loud don't they <laughs> um, I'm really glad they don't spawn on that block right there. But, yeah, this is a general layout. And then, yeah, this side right here will be done. And that will probably be good. I can't think of anything else I want to add. Maybe I'll extend it and make, like, an auto food grower thing. Because, you know, you might run out of food here in the end. Maybe an auto smelter room. You know, we'll, we'll expand. I don't plan on going around the back side or anything. But this is what it's looking like right now. So I'm, uh, I'm going to keep working on it. And I'll give you guys another uh, check-in. So while I'm working on this, I think I'm going to give myself a little break and probably uh, work on this tomorrow. Before I do that, I'm, I have 33 levels. And I want to enchant some books. So we'll do two of them. Oh, and breaking three. That's really good. Well, it's actually really two good books that we got there. I'm glad we did that. But yeah, I'm, I'm really tired, so I'm going to take a crack at this tomorrow. And look how much quieter it is now that I shut off all those Endermen. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to make the storage room, and then I brought the stuff to do like an automated farm just in case we run out of food here, which you can do. Because uh, we might end up spending some time here. Like if I lose all my stuff again, i got to make a new set, and we'll end up spending some time. But usually it's just going to be quick trips here, and I'll just be uh, swing once, swing twice. That'll be it. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, it all funnels into this right here. So it'll be six hoppers here, and then we'll uh, I'll have to set up an... Oh, man, I forgot you can fall into this. I'll have to set up an item elevator to uh, get the rest. Um, do I not have glass? I have it here, right? Surely it's in one of these chests. I wouldn't have left it. It's in the white one, right? White one right here should be in here. Yes, okay. <laughs> Let me just uh, fill in this because it's going to annoy me if I don't. All right, there we go. Much better. But yeah, I'll work on this tomorrow and we should get this finished up in the episode and we might try to tackle something else. Depends on how long we record. What? You can jump one and a half blocks in this game or does this not... Wait a minute. The end, uh, this is only, uh, 
Oh, this is only that. So you can jump 1.25 blocks in this game. Interesting. I did not know that. <laughs> Interesting. All right, yeah, I'm gonna finish this tomorrow. All right, guys. So uh, I was uh, back in the over. Oh, didn't mean to fly there. I was back in the overworld here, and there's a storm off in the distance. It's heading kind of east. It's a tornado. It uh, could have changed directions by now. Oh, it's heading right for us. <laughs> um, I needed wood for the uh, chest thing, and I guess we got a tornado. It's heading right for us. So let's just go up in our tower here and uh, get some better prediction. No! I'm going to miss the things. I'm going to be trying to fly up in here. Ah, oh, here we go. Let me just move that. Aha, now we got a nice view of this F1 heading directly for our windmill. Let's see. We'll turn it up to 22 here. Um, yeah, it's there. <laughs> it's definitely over there. Um, you know, when it was first starting off, it was heading that way. So I wasn't really watching it, and I wasn't really concerned either, because, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, now I do have some slight concerns. It might just go through there and miss everything, but we're going to have to watch it. <laughs> Heck, it might head towards the old base here. It looks like it's taking more of a left turn, which does happen with man more mature storms. So as this thing matures, maybe we will get a left turn out of it. Um, who knows? It's getting closer, though, by the minute. Um, hmm. Let's see if I can get a decent screenshot here. Not really, though. Uh-huh. Yep, <laughs> it's over on that mountain side. It is weakening now. Oh, and as it weakens, it might drift more towards the base. So that'll be interesting to watch. Um, yeah, right now I would forecast it probably hitting right above the, uh, right near that thing, the windmill. Oh yeah, here it comes. Here we go. Um, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do this again, where I turn down the particles because they decide that they're gonna reset themselves to uh, 1.0. Aha! Uh -huh. There she is. We're. Uh, let's see if we can get on top of the roof here. Ow. And, oh yeah, that could be problematic. I want to be able to see on the map where this thing is coming. Oh yeah, we're, uh, we're probably Gucci, I think. <laughs> I don't, I don't really know. It's hard to predict the path of these things. Um, we can't really see it coming in, can we? get a good screenshot for the video oh there's lightning that's a good one it's hard to capture some cgs and whatnot um it's really hard to see this thing is it is it right here really it should be more like oh more like right in front of me i don't think it's coming into view yet Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it's uh, it's right here. It's missing everything. We're good, I think. <laughs> I keep saying I think, but that is uh, that is uh, awfully close. You know what I mean? <laughs> we'll have to see if it misses the other base too. Um. Oh yeah, no, we're good. It's gonna go directly behind it. It's just a scary uh, scary close encounter there. So, yeah, it should just split both of our bases here. Um, oh, I didn't realize you could <laughs> you could see the sugarcane farm right there. Um, yeah, it's going to split our base, which is good. So, no, no destruction today, I don't think. Maybe. 
let's uh let's just get a closer look at our sugarcane farm here. Oh, oh yeah, no, that's gonna be close. <laughs> yeah. No, it's gonna hit our sugarcane farm. No, it actually it's gonna go. Should miss it. Come on, go left. We should be good. See, see how this could be a potential problem here. <laughs> it's an F1 now. It's uh, picking up grass blocks. I'll zoom in, let you see that. Oh, there's a little lightning there. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be awfully close to the base. We got uh, quite a bit of lightning. Yeah, for a second I thought it was gonna hit <laughs> the windmill, but no, it went more this way. Um, you can hear the wind now. Oh, and as you can see, I love how the tornado physics still affect this. We'll probably get some debris. I love how you can see the debris on the outside circling around. But, uh, yeah, our pumpkin farm might take a hit. But other than that, I think we're going to be just fine. Oh, man, look at all the blocks. Isn't that cool? Oh, those are pumpkins. <laughs> I just realized it's a... Oh, no, our village. Please don't suck up villagers. 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 Oh, no, that's hitting the base. <laughs> that's directly hitting the base. <laughs> that's right. Oh, look at that nasty right turn last second on the radar. No. <laughs> it turned right into our base. How dare it do that? Oh, man, it went right over top. Look at that. Oh, it doesn't pick up the sugar cane. Oh, that's perfectly fine, then. Why should I care? <laughs> It did destroy our pumpkin farm. But, oh man, the right turn is so mean. Game. <laughs> Why do this to me? Did it pick up my... Oh, it didn't even pick up the carpet. Oh, okay. I don't even care. <laughs> don't even care. <laughs> but no. Um, we do have to uh, protect our village here. Um... <laughs> Oh, it didn't even pick up the glass, did it? Oh, yeah, it picked up some. Yeah, hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> Everyone good? Oh, good, I put in a cobble roof. How smart of me. Um, Let's just make sure uh, they could get in here. We'll just use this for now as a temporary not letting anyone get killed block. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's nice. Okay. Yep, just a little bit of damage here. Nothing I can't fix off camera. We'll, uh, we'll survive. <laughs> it's a lot better than it tearing up that beautiful windmill that design that I came up with. Let's, uh, let's head back out and make sure this hasn't decided to just turn directly into my base. And we'll just block that off there. Oh, no, it's roping out. Look at that. Roping out right past our base. Oh, man, dude, that's nasty to look at this turn. Look, it's on a projectory to just miss it entirely. You see my cursor in the top left? Miss it entirely. And it just turns right over top of everything we built. How rude. <laughs> oh, man. Like it's, uh, it's a pretty long track here. It's roping out, though. It's over the destroyed land now. We don't even care about this stuff. It's actually going to go right over the... Um, uh, Oh, not the horse. This is my spawn location, I think. There should be a guardian farm in here somewhere. Or not a guardian farm, but a water temple. I didn't realize you could, uh... Use that to go underwater. That's kind of cool. But yeah, that's, uh... It's highly unfortunate. <laughs> Alright, back to what I was doing. Alright, guys. Um... I've found a very interesting bug. Um, hmm. So, these blocks are spawning in, in the end, and I don't know why. <laughs> that, that's all I know. Um, can we fly? Yes, we can. Here, let's just get a run and start. So, let's just, uh... 
Let's see if there's any more load in. No, it doesn't look like it. Um, hmm. Well, that's interesting that these guys spawned right there. Okay, I don't, I don't see them. Oh, you just saw another one spawn in. Like, are they real blocks? It appears that they are. Can I land on one of you? Hello? So when I break them, I didn't get anything. But, hmm, hmm, <laughs> I don't know what that is. I, hmm, honestly, I don't know. But I fear that the tornado mod is causing corruption in this world, and. That'll be really unfortunate if that's the case. I mean, this is still generating terrain. And I, I don't know why. It's not using durability off the shovel. It, it, a piece of fire spawned in there. I don't... <laughs> Guys, let's try re-log and see what happens. If I get my stuff taken away from this, I'm cheating and getting it back, by the way. Oh, okay. They're not real blocks, but they were. They're real, but they're not. <laughs> I'm glad the elytra worked. Um, hmm. I don't. I don't know, guys. That was a weird bug. I'm assuming it has something to do with the uh, ha, ha, ha. tornado mod. <laughs> Boy, that guy was mad, wasn't he? Whew. All right. I guess it's time to get back to work here. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. Are you still mad? No, we're friends, right? Not friends, not friends, not friends, not friends. <laughs> oh, man, time to get back to work, guys. <laughs> All right, so I've finally gathered enough chests to complete this monstrosity of a storage unit. If we really wanted to, we can, uh, <laughs> we can add more layers to this, which we might. I don't know. Um... Hmm. I don't I don't have enough chest six right there. That would be uh two, four, six. That would only go to there, so I'd have to kill some more trees to do that. But yeah, this should work if we just uh and making sure this works because last time it killed me when I jumped into the void, yada yada yada. Oh hey guys, don't be mad that I exist. Thank you very much. Let's uh <laughs> Yep. Hey, guys, guys, chill. It's all good. One at a time. Oh, sweet Jesus! He's mad! He's mad! He's so mad! Uh, I'm running and blind. Don't do this to me! I have no children! Alright, let's just uh, go for a little cruise. Walk in the park here, uh huh. Then we get back up here. Is he still mad? There he is! <laughs> Alright, where's he going to now? Alright, I think that might have got him. Anywho, back to what we were doing. We were just going to... One at a time, everybody. Oh, there they go. <laughs> Alright. So. If we go down to the bottom. And just kill these guys because I don't know why they're here. And we just hit this thing like we normally would when using it in the farm. Yoink! All those ender pearls, and uh, of course, we'll uh, we'll get all this repaired. Oh, hey, guy! It'll all get shot up there into this item elevator, and the uh, water will ride them over the hoppers. And this shouldn't get backed up too bad, and it'll go into the chest, and that should just automatically store our ender pearls for us, which is super nice. And, you know, if I ever, they ever get stuck on me, I can just toss them in there. And we should have all the ender pearls we ever need. <laughs> and our electra's healed. Oh, wait. There it goes. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm assuming this will fill up pretty fast. And uh, 
one day this will uh, this will be entirely full because <laughs> uh, I don't have a real purpose for that many ender pearls whenever using looting on these swords. But yeah, this this does work. <laughs> it's uh, quite a bit of hoppers and quite a bit of iron, but it was worth it. Can you not be out here? <laughs> We're gonna have to make this like three tall or something. Yeah, or two and a half, or yeah, two and a half. Put a roof right on top there so that you nerds don't exist. <laughs> All right, I'm uh, I'm gonna sharpen this area up a little bit, and I'll show you the finished project product. So I've determined that I'm struggling with this build and how I'm getting it to look, but I still need to place that there no matter what. And I'm putting a decoy chest here because I had a quartz block. But it, it bothered me so much. So there won't actually be any items that go into that chest. And it's not even a double chest because of the item elevator behind it. But that's going to be there. And I did the math. And these, all these chests together should hold a, just over 17,000 ender pearls. So it might take me longer than I thought to fill all these in. But it's definitely going to happen. Um, I cut back in because I got this risky block placement here. Um, basically, I have to fly around under this thing. Make sure I can still... Yup, okay. Alright, so... We go like this. Uh-huh. And then just... Yep, this is going to be more difficult than I thought. Maybe if we just get a upward shot at it. No, no, we're just wasting rockets at this point. Um, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to do. No. I don't, I don't know what to do here. I'm going to have to get water, I guess, to come in behind this thing. Um, from a distance, this thing is incredibly ugly, by the way. I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but maybe this will just be left ugly for a little bit until I come up with the design. In here, we're going to put an automatic grower thing where we put bone meal in there. And then for now, I'm just going to leave it as the shell <laughs> because I don't really have anything else I want to do with it. I don't, like, I mean, I'm not going to show this in many episodes either. Like, I'm just going to come here when my tools get low, whack a few endermen like that, get an insane amount of XP. <laughs> Everything's healed. I mean, look at all this XP. Like, I'm at level 37, and it's just because I get bored and whack these guys while I'm building. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty good setup, but it's not like I'm going to show this on camera very much. Maybe live streams, but yeah, that's where I'm looking at this moment <laughs> with the build. So I'll probably come up with something in the future, but for now, this is working absolutely fine. Whoop. There we go. Get out of here, nerd. I wonder where he teleported to. <laughs> It's uh, strange, and it's odd that that arrow... Oh, it came off of him, got it. So yeah, I'm going to add this last part here, and then I'll end off the episode. Alrighty, guys, so I've finished this. Um, basically, all you do is you click that button there. A clock some, uh, turns on these dispensers, and they will dispense bone meal onto the uh, planted carrot and it'll instantly make it fully grown and the uh, block will update um, at a certain tick and realize that it's dark in there and that it shouldn't grow and it'll pop back up and I can plant another one and it'll just keep dropping them so if you watch hold on we gotta we gotta make sure we uh here we go you gotta click it just right you gotta time it just right that is you can see I get plenty of food it will drain through bone meal pretty quick, but uh, it's I'm not planning on using it too much. It's essentially just a, uh, hey, I'm hungry <laughs> kind of thing, so I'll uh, I'll grow some carrots. And we'll, we'll just throw a little carrot chest here to store it in. And that's basically all we want to do there. So this is temporarily done. <laughs> Um, we got our ender pearls here. We got a ender chest if you need one. Enchanting. 
our little landing and takeoff, <laughs> our farm here, and uh, that's pretty much all you can ask for in one of these things. And just look at the XP. This is exactly what I was shooting for. It's a nice setup. That's exactly what we want. We're up to 40 levels now. And, uh, of course, the Ender Pearls are piling in like they should. Like I said, it's a super, super efficient farm. It's crazy that it's this good. I mean, look at this. I, oh, my, support, my pick has a little durability. Might as well get it fixed there. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's a super good farm. I'm glad we built it, and it's a huge upgrade in this world. What you looking at, tough guy? Get out of here. <laughs> Before we go, though, we might as well enchant some books. Um, I brought books, right? <laughs> that was, uh, was an important part of this segment. Was uh, Ah, here it is. Okay. Since we have so many levels, let's just see what we get. Efficiency 4. We will take that. Power 4. Of course, oh, and sharpness three. We can throw that on our bow. Unbreaking three, as always. Protection three is not bad either. And that's all we got level wise. And we'll go ahead and we took that back. Put that back. We'll go ahead and put both of these on our uh, what we got. And unbreaking three, I guess, because we want that on the bow. Did I forget to turn that off? Oh, no, that was the item elevator. <laughs> um, where's this at? Right. So we want um, power 5, infinity, unbreaking. And then we'll just throw that on there, unbreaking 3. And then we want efficiency 5 on that. And there we go. Efficiency 5 on everything. That was a good upgrade right there, let me tell you. And, um, let's just give them one more smack before we go. If I hit them just right, I can get all of them when, on the first hit, but, eh, it, it's hit and miss. <laughs> and we're already back up to level 11, quickly climbing. It's a crazy efficient farm we got right here. You can see the ender pearls going up the elevator in the back. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Oh, sometimes I pick them up, but I can just throw them in the hopper like that. Alright, so I think that's going to do it for this episode. Um, that uh, tornado close encounter that we had pretty much took up the rest of the episode time that I had planned. And as always, I ran over expecting to not take as long as I did at the end Enderman base thing. But um, yeah, it's going to be a little shorter episode, but that's fine. I've been doing really long ones lately, but it's probably going to still be a 20... 20 plus minute video um, I'm not really sure what we'll do next episode we'll find something to do though um, but I uh, hope you all enjoyed um, I'll see you in the next one give me any comments suggestions for what you want to see next I'll uh, try to upload this out consistently I will be going on vacation at the end of July so uh, I'm not really sure how many videos you can expect out then that week um, I'm gonna continue uploading that series with purple because uh, I just want to finish it. I know it's not getting that great views. You all probably don't want to see it. But it's still going to pop up in your feed anyways. If you got a problem with it, oh well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to finish uploading that. And then that storm chasing game. I'm going to upload some more videos on that. Free Roam just came out a couple of minutes ago. Well, not minutes. It came out about an hour or so ago. Um, I'm pretty excited for that. I can't wait to record that. Maybe do some multiplayer on that. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, that's a, that's a quick little channel update for you. I don't know if you asked for a channel update, but I sure did give you one. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's looking like. After the dive, or not what, wow. After the, uh, what, what's the map called? Crimson Torrent. Once that series ends up going up completely, um, just expect Storm Chasers and Tornado Survival on my channel unless I find something else to re record that you guys might like. I, th I tossed around the idea of joining like an SMP server just because uh, I really want a vanilla series. Like I, I showed you all the corruption I experienced earlier and like, I don't know man, I would like a vanilla playthrough. I want to play 1.14 features and stuff like that. But uh, we'll we'll toss the idea around more some other time. That's going to do it, though. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.